Secretary, and he's just mentioned about taking back control and ending the jurisdiction of the European Court of Justice. I presume he has seen the legal advice published today by, from the Attorney General, which makes it clear that, in fact, that is not the case in terms of the backstop, which he also says is indefinite, that Northern Ireland remains in the EU Customs Union, not in some kind of customs arrangement, and will apply the whole of the EU Customs Acquis, and the Commission and the European Court of Justice will continue to have jurisdiction over its compliance with those rules. Northern Ireland will treat Great Britain as a third country. How can he possibly stand here and recommend this deal and say that it brings to an end the jurisdiction of the Court of Justice and takes back control? Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I, I very much uh, respect uh, what the right hon. Gentleman has uh, just said, and he shared it with the House uh, uh, on, uh, on a few occasions, and I absolutely uh, understand that. And uh, let me just say from the outset, you know, no one can pretend that this deal is perfect in every sense. There was inevitably there will be some compromises uh, with this deal with a, a number of objectives, in, including, as we just heard uh, uh, j just very recently from the Prime Minister herself in Prime Minister's questions, a need to ensure that the uh, commitments in the Good Friday Agreement are upheld. What the right honourable gentleman is referring to, of course, is the if, if, and it is an if, if the backstop arrangement uh, kicks in, and he's right to point to the legal advice, but also uh, it is worth uh, keeping in mind that uh, that situation does not necessarily arise, even if there is no uh, um, uh, final uh, um, deal on the future arrangement by December 2020. There's an opportunity for alternative arrangements, including extending the implementation period. And even if then it, the, uh, what the right honourable gentleman referred to actually kicked in the backstop arrangement, it is uh, even legally from the European Union's perspective, at a minimum, it is not sustainable because it's done under Article 50 um, of the European Union's own uh, rules.